Hey guys, it's Numistaka back with you again. Not for another instalment of the Mega Results grading quite yet, but for something a little lighter and a little more different. Well, fairly different anyway. You can see here emerging out of the big white bag is a number of beautifully packaged and exquisitely presented pink tissue paper wrapped boxes with pink ribbons. And this can only mean two things. Number one, they are from the coin connection. And number two, they're made of gold because only the gold coins get wrapped in pink. And there's another little package here, which means one of two things. Either some coins are inside that package that belong in these boxes, uh, or it could mean that uh, Coin Connection have included another little present for Numistaka. How nice is that? It's a little bit like a pink version of Christmas here at Numi headquarters. And uh, you can see here, peeking through the pink tissue paper is the word innovation and science. And I know exactly what that means. It means that the coin inside here is the Stephen Hawkins um, gold 50 pence. Uh, this coin is the first coin in the series of what will be a longer series, although I'm not sure at this stage how many coins there will be. But um, And it features the black hole a subject which I'm sure the Royal Mint found incredibly difficult to design onto an interesting uh, 50 pence piece. The uh, a few marks here and scuffs on the box. And uh, I did find out later that this box is being replaced by the Royal Mint because uh, it's being replaced with a pristine one without the little marks on it, which is very nice. Um, presentation, you've seen before the kind of presentation they have for these gold 50 pence pieces. It's like a kind of larger version of the presentation they have for the sovereign. So you get a um, a flyer, I guess, a pull-out flyer giving the background on the black hole. Uh, I did actually unbox one of these a few weeks ago and went through this leaflet in a bit more detail. So I'll kind of skip over that, but it is in the previous video if you want to go ahead and have a look at it. We'll take a look in the box. This particular coin, uh, as you can see, came from the coin connection. The one I had previously came directly from the Royal Mint. And the coin connection uh, did actually receive one of these uh, for me from the Royal Mint, but it needed to be sent back because it had marks on and the coin connection were not happy with its level of quality. So this one has in fact been reminted by the Royal Mint and approved by the coin connection. And I must say, um, it is better than the one that I had directly from the Royal Mint. And as far as I can see, looking at it, it looks absolutely pristine. So um, this one is my own coin. It will be graded. I'm hoping to get a 70 for it. I don't think it even needs conservation by the look of it. Here's one that somebody else bought a few weeks ago, and you can see they weren't happy with it. You can see that inside some of the fine lines, there were slight damage to the frosting. And I think this particular design in frosting has proved very difficult to mint. Um, so this coin I know was sent back for replacement as well, but it just gives you an idea of the general quality that's around on these coins and how difficult it is to get really, really good coins that are going to grade well. So back to my Stephen Hawking coin. Um, take another quick look at it before it's um, taken out of its, uh, its capsule and prepared for grading by being put in a flip. Nice to see a QC number on the capsule. So somebody has actually hand um, quality control this coin. So if you see one of those stickers, it means that it's actually received personal quality control by a particular inspector as being up to standard, which is very nice to know. Um, there's been a number of offers over the last few months for 
uh, some money back for purchases at the coin connection. I'm pleased to say that I have negotiated another uh, month of offers uh, and it may continue after that with different codes from the coin connection. If the Easter Bunny is carrying coins for your collection this Easter, then why not save an extra 2% on anything you buy till the 30th of April 2019? Use this code at checkout, BUNNY. That's BUNNY. So, if you're back with me, let's have a look in the next uh, Coin Connection delivery. Um, same size box as before, and not surprising because it contains exactly the same type of coin, but uh, you can probably see a little bit of the design through there already. The words Beatrix Potter, and knowing that the Royal Mint have just very, very recently released the, raw, the, the Peter Rabbit coin, I think you can probably see what this coin is going to be. So, the Royal Mint, Beatrix Potter, Peter Rabbit, killer combination. This coin um, was sold out really, really quickly. So this is the 50 pence coin in gold, a little bit under half an ounce of gold in these coins. Um, I think there's slightly more gold in the two pound coins, the uh, commemorative two pound coins, but. Generations of delighted in sharing Peter Rabbit's adventures as he helps his family and friends outwit Mr. McGregor and the lovable rogues in the little tales. So let's have a look and see what is in the box. Same kind of format. So you get the black inner box and then a little piece of information. And uh, you, have to, you have to give it to um, the Royal Mint for their standards of presentation. Their presentation is absolutely great, even if their quality control sometimes sucks get a lot of really nice stuff, some old photos of uh, Beatrix Potter, um, interesting information on the tales of Peter Rabbit. Um, you know, it's, I mean, it really is good stuff that they produce alongside each one of these coins. And it's been part of a series of Beatrix Potter presentation coins, and also, you know, part of a series that includes this type of coin, including the snowman and the gruffalo, uh, as well, and they've proved incredibly popular. So uh, I can't see why these would not prove uh, just as popular. I think they've screwed up in a way the silver ones, although they do sell out. I don't think they're going to be a very good coin for uh, making any money on the silver proofs. They're printed. They're minting too many of them at the moment. Uh, the silver proof had thirty thousand mintage, which I think is a little bit too high. And uh, so far, the 2017-2018 Peter Rabbit coins in silver have been changing hands for um, a, quite a big discount on the original Royal Mint price, as far as I can see. So this one, I think, is slightly different. Mintage is very low. There's only 500 of them. Maximum coin mintage and limited edition presentation are both 500. Uh, only 500 coins. They sold out very quickly. Um, the subject matter is popular and it's gold um, and I think these will do reasonably well but I don't think they're going to be um, a license to print money either. With any luck they will stay over their issue price at least for a while uh, although sometimes gold 50 pences have a habit of falling back unless they're particularly rare ones. So there you have it facing on Peter Rabbit with his carrot in one hand and his other hand in his waistcoat. And uh, difficult coins to mint because they've got a whacking great big area of, uh, of field, mirrored field. And that's very difficult to do well. Um, almost as difficult in a way as that design on the Stephen Hawking was. Um, the Stephen Hawking in Stanley only had 400 minted. Uh, which is a pretty, pretty low um, amount of coins for a world market. 
this coin has 500 which is uh, probably more popular subject in a way but also equally low as a mintage I haven't taken a look yet at the secondary market prices for the Peter Rabbit, but I have looked at the Stephen Hawking. And uh, there was uh, one sale at about twelve or £1,300. I think the mint price was about £800 on these coins. So uh, somebody sold one uh, very recently for £1,200 on eBay. Uh, but other ones haven't been quite as high. And the highest one apart from that I've seen in terms of an auction sale has been around £980. So people who bought them um, and they were sold out very, very quickly have been able to make a little bit of money, particularly if they got a, um, a free final value fee or a £1 final value fee listing on eBay. But um, it's, you know, the, it is not um, a, an instant guarantee of flippable profit, but uh, they are nice coins and with any luck they should be a reasonable buy over a period of time. Um, now we come to the little white mystery envelope and the question is, uh, what is it? And uh, is it a present for Numistaka? Well, the suspense is a killer. It's another little envelope. And what's going to be inside it? Maybe uh, a small bar of chocolate, some sweeties, some gold coins. Who knows? It feels, I must say, just like gold coins. So it's a Yale. Uh, it's a Yale of Beaufort. Um, probably one of about a dozen Yales that have come in so far for grading. So there should be quite a few going into the census over at NGC. Not a present for me this time, but, the, but a couple of Yales for grading. The boxes have already been sent uh, by coin connection to the owner and she sent me the coins so that I can get them graded and send them on to uh, to the owner at some stage in the future. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, break from the mega grading video. Normal service for the mega results will be resumed after this one. Please like, subscribe and comment above all.